Good morning, welcome to Chasing Chunks TV. I'm Johnny Tosh and this is Mr. Ding Dang Do, Sean Bigford from Angel Lakes. And we're on our annual trip out down to Linear Fisheries. Yes, I know it's probably going to be rammed and we've not really picked the best time to go fishing because uh, some of the lakes are spawning, some of the lakes are closed. But uh, we're just going to uh, go out, have a great fishing trip, have a social, have some good banter as well, and uh, hopefully catch a few chunks. So, obviously because the lakes are so busy, we are probably quite early. We're going to wait for the gates to open, and then we're going to leg it to swims <laughs> to try the rat, uh, race. the rat race, yeah, and try and get somewhere decent to fish so we've got 48 hours in front of us and obviously i'll pick the camera up video I'll blog our session and hopefully it'll be a good one so enjoy the next 48 hours with me and the main man from down at angels lakes and we'll see you very shortly yeah it's gangsters <laughs> in it. In it. right bye bye guys see you soon well, we have made it. You join us on B1. And I've got to be honest, it was looking like there wasn't going to be any swims available because we've come in, we've gone all the way down here looking for swims. We've gone all the way around on B1 on the opposite bank. It's literally rammed full. So we went around to B2. Most of the swims are took around there and there's only the odd couple of swims available. And as we want to fish relatively close to each other because we're obviously having a social then we were started to think we wasn't going to be able to get a swim however as we've pulled around here just coming down the bank we've noticed one of the guys he's starting to mess around with his bivvy so we've just dropped around here and thankfully they're leaving sean has decided to plot up down in this corner swim the guy there has been the week been there a week had 13 fish just fishing to a snag bush down to the left hand side which i'll pick up later on in the session and obviously i'll show you what sean's doing and because obviously you should really always fish to your strength i've decided to plot up in open water casting at distance now we've got a guy over there who's one of my youtube channel Hopefully you're going to catch a fish for the channel, ain't you? I am. Go on, kid. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, it's always nice to meet fellow uh, Chasing Chunk members on the bank. And like I say, if we can uh, get him a fish, we'll get him on film. So yeah, I'm really pleased that, uh, that we've got a couple of swims. Now this swim next to him, uh, next to Sean, I decided not to go in here because from that bank it's only 80 yards to where I'm going to be fishing at long distance so I just didn't want people being in the same sort of area where I'm fishing so I've decided just to skip up onto the bank onto the next one because thankfully again this swim is free they have got a wide expanse of water over there nobody's going to be fishing to me from the left hand side nobody's going to be fishing to me from the opposite bank you know and I've got a good distance out there to uh, establish a spot and catch us a fish so Sean we got really lucky on this one didn't we mate yeah mate very much so and uh, we're going to capitalise it on it have a good session have a bit of banter here's a bonus you are any swim down here's a bonus y yeah it really really is and just these guys packing up I'm just well made up so I'm going to uh, start to uh get these rods in and I'll pick up the video camera a little bit later got on guys so yes come on let's get some fish Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cái đầu ấy này à Sean, aka the Spod Machine. Oh, yes, take two. Take two. First one went 60 yards. Fuck off. <laughs> beep. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, bruv? Yes, bruv. You saying? What we saying then? Where are we fishing and what we doing? Mate, that is well tarty, that is. Look at them rods. <laughs> Not been out for a while. I've got one down that corner there. Yeah, it looks carpy, down. It's it? about 10 foot. Clear as a whistle. Nothing yeah. but clear. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. I've got the middle in on the zig. Adjustable zig. 17 foot out there it is. I'm at about nine foot at the mini. And we've got the other one, the right one. I want 14 wraps. Straight in front? Yeah. Put any bait out? Yeah, put, I've spotted a few bait, about 10 over each spot. Okay, you don't need to put much, do we? No, nah, you've got you got the... Um, oh, look at that. It's nah, showing out there, mate. No, nah, it's just spamming look. Look how far he's going. Oh, <laughs> is he? Yeah, he's over here. Look, watch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was a good job of very good next door, buddy. Because yeah. that had been right over there. Yeah, that was a good call, there. that was, you know. Yeah. Well, obviously, I've been pushed into the corner, I have. Mate, you've had the. It's a bit unfair. You, you've had the uh, pick this time. So well, at one or two. There's no pressure, is there? Yeah. Also peaceful down here, mate. That's what it's all about, ain't it, really? Yeah. Right, I'm going to turn this off. Let's continue on. Now we've uh, bothered Sean. <laughs> it's just over to the car to make that difference. Alright, that spawn comes over here, I'll have her. Yeah. So it's dinner. No. Professional boiler sniffers, here we come. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, I don't know, is that very yeah. sweet? Sexy for this Ooh. time of year, eh? Come get me, that's what that says. Are we? What? What else you got, Sean? What else? Anything else that's the smell? No, mate. Oh, fucking okay, no. hell. <laughs> we are shutting down for the night ahead uh, very very quiet around the lake nothing's really been out as such during the day 
So, yeah, I think it's definitely going to be a uh, morning type of water, this one. And uh, if I remember right the last time I come, I think I was picking them up in the morning, to be fair. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Ta-da. Well, good morning. A little bit of a development for 10 o'clock. Unfortunately, we are on the wrong bank. About an hour ago, the fish turned up over on that opposite bank, about a quarter of the way out. And I've been watching them lump out in numbers. And because of that, I've watched boom, 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 three anglers start to catch it over there. Now, Obviously, I can't move over there. I can't uh, chain swims because there's nowhere to move. But so, I think you've just got to write it out. Just hope that they turn up in front of you. And I'll just keep topping up that my spots and uh, just, just keep them rods out there. And yeah, fingers crossed that they will turn up. The only thing I'm going to change today is I'm going to uh, change this right hand rod which is out on a little helicopter system I'm going to put a zig out there and try and target the upper column of the water so yeah I think we've just got to ride it out and um, I will pick the camera up a little bit later uh, time to wind away these hours kick back relax and uh, wait it out Ta -da. Well, there's only one thing to do when you're blanking is tie even more rigs and even more solid bags. Um, lads over the other side are still picking fish up and the bloke who's opposite me has just had one. So that wind pushing over there is definitely making a difference to these fish movements. So, oh, it's frustrating. Just got to keep banging away and hope in the next 24 hours we'll pick a fish up. Half past eight on the evening, we're just starting to lose the light and the end of the day is almost upon us. Unfortunately, we've gone through the day and we've not caught any fish. And it's been really frustrating for me, especially having them fish over me this morning and then fish gradually pushing off and pushing over onto the opposite bank as that wind come on. Slowly throughout the day, they've been pushed down to the other end of the lake. I've been studying the other swim, watching them bosh out constantly and we've just had a guy come round who's done a circuit of the lake and he said that it looks like the fish are starting to group up down there and it's looking like they're going to start to spawn. 
in a way I'm glad I'm up this side of the lake because there's no signs of it up here in fact there's no signs of bleeding fish up here but I'm just glad I'm not down there because obviously I would have packed up and moved off or gone off home but while we've not seen any fish up here you know um, then all's good with having these rods out there's always a chance that you're going to have fish up here they're not all going to be spawning you're going to have some fish holding off and backed off and I'm hoping through the night or first thing in the morning we may just get into a fish I know we are hoping a little bit especially seeing how many fish are showing off down the other end of the lake but um, yeah you know them rods being in there's always a chance of a bite so I'm going to log off for the evening I will pick the camera up during the night or first thing in the morning as standard uh, but with every hour passes it's looking like we're more likely that we're going to blank but if I can do anything to change that I'll do it but at the moment I'm just going to leave them rods out uh, put four spots out earlier over the top got a little bit of bait out there and let's see whether these solid bags do the business so for now good night and I'll see you bright and early in the morning if we don't have anything further night. Good night, guys. Well, good morning. You join me at half past four in the morning and I'm just up making a brew while Sean puts his rod out because he's just had a uh, lovely 20 pound fish or 20 pound ish fish down from that snag bush down to the left hand side. Uh, so I'm going to go and do the uh, video and uh, show it to you guys. Uh, really quiet for me last night again and not really seeing anything this morning since the lights gone. But I'll persevere this morning and uh, just go through till around about 11 o'clock when the rods have got to come in and I've got to pack up this video blog. But really chuff for Sean. Uh, worked hard on that margin and uh, he's got the rewards so just having a cup of tea and uh, yeah let's go and have a look at these fish the shorts caught yes boy yes boy hello <laughs> Do with it, Mush. Could do all day. Feed as well, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, you've got some water. Yeah. Worked hard on that corner, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, right, let's, let's just do a couple of graphs here. Do the photo of the other side as well. Say again, bro. Do the photo of the other side. Yeah, it's better this side. Okay. I have a picture of every side for some reason. Yeah, you know. Yeah, boy, angry as well. Yeah, take that one there. Yeah. Nice man. Sandler. Thanks, Ava. Yes, man. Are you alright with that as well, Dunny? Yeah, good. Right, I'm giving you all swim closer. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, take the ultimate piece, though. Eh? Look at that, look at that. Nothing at all. Yeah. 
pretty boy. Thank you very much. Cheers, David. Oh, very angry. <laughs> Ding dang do. Skills, skills. <laughs> Cheers, Mucker. Oh, well we needed it there, we needed that one. Yeah, we did uh. This isn't looking good. It really isn't looking good. Wind is pushing right down there. And I'm not seeing any fish this morning. I just know a blank is on the cards. It's going to happen. We just haven't got the fish in front of us this morning. And I'm gutted. I am totally gutted. I can't say that I've uh, fished my best on this session at all. Uh, but yeah, look, right, I don't know what you are see, but yeah, they're just boshing out on that margin on the opposite side. So I expect them carp anglers to uh, be bent into them this morning again, like, like yesterday. But it was a little bit lighter on yesterday when, when them fish was there. It was definitely in front of me earlier on in the morning and then pushed off but at the moment they just ain't on me at all so gutted to say the least obviously you know coming down here paying 60 67 quid something like that and blanking ain't really the one is it you certainly ain't the one certainly want to catch some fish for your um the little investment down here but I suppose that's the way carp fishing goes but at the moment that's uh, certainly how it's going for me and my fishing fingers crossed well unfortunately that is a blank and them fish pushing off me yesterday has uh, paid a big toll on the fishing but I'm making, making no excuses so if you want to follow my channel see loads more blanks from a shit fisherman like myself then uh, definitely come and like the video subscribe and I'll see you out blanking on my next video thank you for watching guys and it's a bish bash bosh keep it tosh wetting its tight lines see you on my next video bye bye